Hi everyone, welcome to a bit of a tutorial video. Today we're going to have a go at trying to make a, um, a solar filter to take some photos of the sun. Um, in order to do this we're going to need solar filters you can buy from a few manufacturers. Um, this particular one is from a company called Thousand Oaks. Um, I bought it off Amazon, I'll put the link in the description um, and I just bought the small, smallest 4x4 inch sheet to, um, to have a go at. We're going to need some cardboard, so just to cut out the cut out the filter, ruler, pen, scissors, and we're also going to need um, something to measure the diameter of the the camera lens that you're going to be um, basing the filter on. So essentially, what my idea is to is to pop the filter. <coughs> On top like that. Now on with the tutorial. First of all we're just going to measure out some, measure out um, a couple of rectangles, so essentially, sorry a couple of squares. Um, we're drawing a rectangle in the first instance. I'm going to make sure I can fit my filter around each one. So essentially to do this, <clears throat> Make sure it's all nice and nice and square. And then similarly the other side. And we are gonna keep doing this until we draw out the rectangle. Gonna roughly measure this, so this is about I'm going to make it about 24, so we're going to do 12, so 24 and a half, so 12 and a half, that's roughly about the centre, and we're going to draw a line in the centre. There we go, so I've measured out two pieces to put the filter in between. Now, I'm going to measure out the circle, the first one. that. There we are. So that is going to be with the, the hole. You need to cut that hole out and make the, the silk filter will sit in, in there. So I've gone ahead and cut the two squares. As you can see the first one I've actually even cut the circle out. You can see the filter can sit in between there like that, like so. <clears throat> and the idea is to put the filter in the middle, put that out there, and then we're off and running. So next step is to cut out the two holes. Now to cut the circles out, I'm just doing using a knife, and this is actually just cutting through like that. Not the most elegant way to do this, but um, it will get the job done. One thing I did forget to mention is that um, after you have cut out your circles, I'd probably best to get some sandpaper and just sandpaper there just back a bit. Next, we're just gonna cut out a few tabs. So what are these? So this is basically going to hold our, <coughs> hold our, Hold the filter in place. So sorry, the whole whole assembly in place. So essentially, what we're going to do is just draw out a box, similar to what we've done before. We may not need all this, but give this a go. I don't know if you can see that. So we're just going to draw that out. Next, we're just going to get some gaffer tape. That's a good old gaffer tape. What do we do with that, hey? Okay? okay, next up, we're just going to get each of these little, little pieces, fold it in half, and 
Así que no. solar filter in there and that's largely it so this is going to go in here like so and there we are so that's it there now what's next next up a couple of bits of good old blue tack let me go there going to get the filter out. Now with the filter and removing this you got to be very careful. You can see it there but it's been sticky taped. We just need to try and take the filter out without damaging the actual filter. So wish me luck. Here I go. So I'm going to try and see if I can just ever so gently that there we are okay now we just need to fill remove the solar filter there it is okay so with this thousand oaks filter what you have to remember is the silver side faces the Sun I'm going to put that piece into there like that. Stick it onto the blue tack. And we're off and running. So we've got the filter in place. Next up, I'm just going to put a bit of blue tack in a few spots just to help with keeping. There we are. Pop that in. Now it's not the most elegant of um, solutions, and I'm sure you could probably use a 3D printer or something like that to to do a much better job. But um, hopefully, this should be a nice, quick and dirty solar filter to. Take some nice pictures of the sun. So there we are, solar filter, ready to go. Thank you for joining.